Guys, check out G2A for cheap and reliable games. Link and discount code in the description. Hey there, guys. Black Panther here, and welcome back to some more Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 once again. Now, today, what we're going to be doing is customizing or fixing up these cars. Not just customizing them. This, this is another rice video. But as you can see, there are two cars here. Three new cars were added in the DLC packs, and today, we're going to fix up one of them and sell it on. I sold a few cars in the garage, so I've got a bit more money allowed to build stuff with and they do have custom parts they actually updated the dlc to have custom parts for these cars i love these guys these guys are just amazing so as i said there's three cars so what we're going to do is get rid of you you are going back to the parking go away and we're going to work on the mustang today so let's move you to the center thank you so as i said we're building the mustang for this episode if you want me to build the other car that we just put away be sure to leave a like and i'll be sure to do that for you guys but without further ado, let's get on with it. So, should we test this thing? It's actually drivable. Let's go into O. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Cruising in my muscle car, yeah. So, we're testing it on the test track just to see what it's like. And, oh, yes. It drives like every other car. Except for the fact it looks freaking awesome. This thing needs to be low. Oh, for God's sake. And now I'm spinning around without actually meaning to. Can you not stop it? Mustang, please. Get in. To the, there we go. And now for the final part and where we break. Brake check. So what we learned is it's fucking broken. We know that already. But what it does mean is if we go to examine mode, how do we go to examine mode three? We'll be able to see things that are a little bit more broken. So suspension is literally dead. And everything else here. Yeah, this, this looks like a cool car to play around with, actually. Now, I'm just buying everything here to start us off. So we can start with the normal build. Repair the visual stuff as normal. Once we've done that, we will see what custom parts it has. And then start working on the proper stuff that we should. And there we are. She is done. Nice and shiny other than the rims. You could sell that and people wouldn't know a thing. Except the really, really rusty exhaust that we're definitely going to change. But what I wanted to do is, as I said, included in the DLC, if you actually bought this DLC and the tuning DLC, you'll get tuning parts for these cars if you have both. It's a cool idea. I like how they do the DLC. It's pretty cool. So there's a couple of options here. So I'm going to buy everything as normal and we're going to see which is the better of these. So the bumper difference seems to be, yeah, that's a cooler bumper. You know, I actually prefer having a, a, a chrome bumper. That's just me. I, I wanted the other one. I just like it being really shiny and cool from a distance. So there's that. What else do we get? So we also get a colored front bumper, which I'm not going to use. But what I want to try is this was the normal light. There's like a slightly darkened or smoked version of it or one with a cross in it. So I'm going to go with the smoked ones. Oh, yes, those look mean and nasty. So I think the first thing we'll replace is this exhaust system because it is literally wrecked. You know what, I'm going to keep that one in there because it seems pretty fine, but the rest of the car is literally rusted. So I think with this build, we'll actually do the more important parts that are really, really rusted. Uh, this, for example, this cool, this is a different brake system I've never seen before. Brake shoe? Drum wheel cylinder? What? I have never, I've never seen these before on cars, so they're slightly different. So, is that, how is that? That looks, that's black still, so it's not rusted. So we'll keep that. Um... I want to replace the drive shaft, so we're going to have to undo all those. And at the front, it's got normal style brakes. That's really weird. I didn't know there was, like, another way of doing braking, to be honest with you. But um, let's get on with this anyway and keep going because we're near to where we need to be. So I don't want to replace too much here. Uh, the engine works, so we're going to keep that for now. And in the next episode, we may build the engine, uh, take the engine apart for the next car. Depends how much it needs it. Okay, so I've bought a lot of the things I need to start replacing parts on this car. Uh, we haven't decided on rims just yet, but we shall very soon. Now, basically, I went with the idea of replacing everything that was in the red. Uh, normally, I'd replace absolutely everything, but I thought, you know what? We're going to see what it's like just to replace the really, really broken components. And maybe we, maybe we can actually try and repair some of the others. So let's let's try that. We never do that. So it's quite easy to repair everything, apparently. I should just do this, apparently, in the future. Repair everything. So apparently, we've pretty much fixed everything now. I should have done that before. Like, why did I spend the time buying new parts where I could easily just repair them? Because I got 90% bloody chance of repairing them. But I didn't do that. No, I just spent all my bloody hard-earned money. So apparently, we definitely need a new drive shaft. 
That is really broken from us trying to repair it. So that's one disadvantage of repairing. So I guess that balances it out in a way. It makes it much cooler. But I should have from the beginning you know, learned to repair things. Apparently I'm like a magician. I can repair things just like, just simple. Uh, what else? Where is it? It was over here. Come on, go over, go over. Let me, no, no, here. There we go. Put that in. Screw that in. Put on normal brakes now. So I don't understand that. Like I've never seen that in a car before. I'm, I know, I know I probably should have, but I've never heard of that before. That there's a different braking system on the rear. Uh, anyway, can you please? There we go. We're now almost done. So with the rims, I'm thinking going with something that looks classic muscle, but updated in a way. So basically make them black, but look awesome. <laughs> That's basically what I'm thinking of going about. Come on. No, oh, no, I need to press on it. There we go. No. Okay, there's something missing. Outer tie rod. I bloody knew it. There you go. Now you can get the rim on. So there we go. Lots of options. Let's try these. Those are looking like they're going to be pretty cool. Come on. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. I will see. I won't see what you look like. Ooh, I like those a lot. There, let's paint that and waste my money to bloody do it and see what that looks like. Come on, what's it look like? I am very happy with that. Very happy. So there it is. The Mustang is complete. And now what we will do is we shall sell this thing. Restoration bonus 0%. So it would appear that we need to replace a damn lot more to get this thing to be fit. We replaced a lot. Look at that. That's incredible. We did an amazing job today. Guys, you better congratulate yourselves. Uh, but what we will do instead then of selling it because we're not going to get any fucking money whatsoever from that. Go into the parking with the rest of them and don't come out until you're fixed. But in the next episode, if you want to see me build the other cars, I said, please be sure to leave a like. And um, other than that, thanks for watching. And... Peace.